What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part two for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So guys, in the last episode, we got started with this game, did the introduction and picked our starters. And in today's video, we're going to be heading towards gym number one and trying to complete that. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. But if you guys look in the top right corner, on the poke catcher over there you can see that it is 224 and that is am i'm grinding this game right now it is super super early for me i'm super tired but i'm having a blast playing this game so hopefully you guys are enjoying all the content i'm bringing for you guys for pokemon brilliant diamond and shine and pearl but we just got done with Juba Life City. That's kind of like an introductory town. Got the Poke Catch, and now we're heading over to Route 203 and having our first battle with our rival, which is Barry. Over here. So he has two Pokemon. I only got one. I only got my Turtwig. That's the only Pokemon I have right now, as you guys can tell down by that cool little animation in my layout. Little Pokemon animation down there. Looking sick, dude. I love it so much. I'm very excited with how that actually turned out. The layout just looks phenomenal, but Starly's going to use a tackle right here. And how are we going to do up against this thing? Hopefully, it's not Rocket Peck. We're pretty bulky. We got a pretty bulky Pokemon here. We hit pretty hard. As long as he doesn't have Peck, we should be pretty fine here. We should be pretty fine here. But, yo, if you guys watched the last episode, hopefully you guys did. Hope you guys dropped a little thumbs up for me because, you know, it does go a long way. But if you guys did watch the last episode, you guys know that we almost died to a Starly early on. Like the bug cutter guy, and I was like, Yo, what you mean, dude? He was whipping on us all day. This thing's gonna end up using quick attack, which I don't mind because that's just gonna do less damage. But our tackles are eventually gonna fly in here, doing a great amount of damage. And we might be in trouble here. Doesn't this thing have a chimchar? He might have a chimchar. Ooh, that could be tough news for us. We did run growth, which could be very beneficial to us. Let's see, he does have a chimchar, bro. And it's level nine. We might die here. We might die here. What you mean? He's gonna leer. He's gonna drop my defense. Good. He probably has Ember, which is special attacking, so that might not do anything. We shall see. We definitely need to get our levels up. We definitely need to get our levels up, and we definitely need to get another Pokemon. A uh, growth could boost our uh, special attack stat, but we're using a physical attack move, so might as well just keep ripping with tackle. He's gonna use Scratch. Okay, cool. Keep it a Scratch. That's what we need him to keep it to. We do have potions in our bag, so we might have to be out, be rocking out with one of them. And I don't know if we should use one. My Pokemon's late sheet. Low HP, this could be tight. Do I use a potion? If he uses a potion this turn, he is going to... Oh, no, he's not. I thought he was. He ends up scratching. And the real question is, I think I pop a potion. Just in case he wants to pop an ember. I think it's the play. I think it's the play. I'm going to play this one smart. I do not want to die. I do not want to die this early on in the game. So, we're going to pop a potion here. Get some HP back. Keep rocking out with my boy Turtwig. My boy Turtwig. But, yo, like I said, I've been grinding this game. Not, like, far yet, but, like... Recording wise and all that stuff for YouTube content been grinding for you guys as you guys saw it was like 2 30 in the morning I finished my first recording. I started recording at like 12 when it first came out Then I had to edit all that good stuff I'm currently rendering videos as I'm recording so you know your boys always grinding and bringing you guys out that content for you guys So hopefully you guys do support me and subscribe to the channel We're gonna end up tackling finishing off this chimchar and we should get a great amount of XP here Which we absolutely love get out of here chimchar definitely this chimchar definitely could have killed us Use Ember but we take this all day. 102, loving it. Loving it. But I actually, in the last video, I was saying how Turtwig evolves at like 14 or 16, but it actually evolves at 8. It's actually a late evolution. So he evolves at 18 to his second stage Grottle, and then at 32, which is really early for his third evolution, which I really like. Which I really like. But we're going to head over to this grass over here, start whipping up on some Pokemons, and do I have to heal up again? I'm curious if Barry healed my Pokemon, or did they just reset? Let's see. Everybody's gonna fire. If not, it's just a little Starly in the corner. So, we be able to whip it up. And we did not heal up, but it's all good. It's level four. We're gonna get some mean levels. I don't think the trainers are even remotely close to as high as Barry was. So, we definitely should be fine just rolling through this route, getting stuff done. And hopefully, I don't think my first Pokemon that I want on my team is in this route. I don't think so. I do not think so. So, we might be taking on the first gym with just Turtwig. But, yo, trust me. Once we get our team, we're gonna be stacked. But, first gym should be totally fine with us because it is just, uh, it's a rock gym. It's a rock gym, and we have grass. Really, the worst starter for the first gym is Chimchar, who is the best starter all around. So once you get through the first gym with uh, Chimchar, then you, you're just flying out. You're just flying out with that. But my main man over here is going to send out a Badoo. Youngster Mike, ready for Pokemans, dude. He's ready to rip up. We're going to rock out with our turret. We're just send a little leafage, and we might be able to just kill him one shot. Let's see. Make it happen, maybe. Mmm. Mmm. I love when you get to that point where you're just so much stronger than uh, 
the trainers or the NPC trainers that you just want to happen their Pokemon. Because then you're just flying through the game, you're having a good time, just relaxing. But this game's been a so far. I'm loving it so much. I'm loving it. And guys, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what Pokemon you guys are using for your teams. Are you guys using generic Pokemon that a lot of people like to use, like Star Raptor and all that good stuff? Or are you throwing some curveballs, throwing some off meta Pokemon in there as well? Because there are a lot of cool Pokemon for this gen, but most people do go with the most generic ones. I do think Haunchko is really sick. I really want to use him for my uh, YouTube playthrough, but I ended up only going to be using him for my stream. He's so sick. I just think he's really cool. I think Frostlass is really cool as well. I think all the Sinnoh evolutions are cool as well. Uh, what other Pokemon are there that's like decently off meta? I think Gastrodon's cool instead of Floatzel, but that's a little meta. -y. I feel like a lot of people do use him. Crobat's a pretty cool flyer. I think Togekiss is a cool flyer instead of Starraptor. Um, what other Pokemon? Gyarados is a good water Pokemon. But usually when you're playing in that gen, like since we're playing gen 4, we just want to use like gen 4 Pokemon pretty much. And I think that's what I did for this whole team, didn't I? I'm trying to think of my team. Except for one. Except for one Pokemon. But he's still a very cool Pokemon. You guys will see him later. He will definitely be an early game. Probably not this video. Definitely next video, I think. Because we can get him. We get him in the underground. We get him in the underground. We can rock out with him. Is this a trainer out reverse? It's not. But we can grab ourselves a lovely... Lovely little Pokeball over here. So let me click on this thing. Get ripping on that. And it's just a Pokeball. I always never got that concept. Like, you are finding a Pokeball inside of a Pokeball. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. But we got a little pond over here, which we cannot get to. We need Surf. Unless we can loop around that other way and get to uh, go down them steps that I just saw. But another trainer battle over here. We got Youngster. I'm going to call him Youngster Kevin. We're going to see if we can guess the people's names. Youngster Dallas. Dang it, man. That's going to be this whole playthrough. We're going to be trying to guess people's names until we get it. Hopefully, we can get one in this playthrough. Hopefully, we can get one. Youngster Kevin. I thought it was going to be Kevin, but Dallas. Dallas makes sense. He's going to throw out his cricket tot. His tots full of crickets. This honestly makes me want to get, like, some loaded tater tots. Yo, dude, those things are beautiful. Are beautiful. I have a little, like, uh, bar restaurant, bar food, or a restaurant with a great bar food around here. They throw loaded tater tots insane insane they throw cheese on them, like a bunch of different cheeses some chives and some bacon on it bro it's just it's just phenomenal cannot go wrong with tater tots especially loaded tots drizzle some hot cheese on it like oh woo, woo. can't go wrong can't go wrong with it all day but there we go take out the cricket dot get my 37 xp and we don't get rolling here i definitely want to make it to the next town and beat the gym i think we should have enough time in today's recording to be able to do that but any Pokemon over here in this grass, maybe that we haven't found yet. Let's see. Badoof, get him out of here. I'll probably just run from him. Because really the XP isn't that much. What is it? 10? Usually I don't like to do it. Usually I don't like to run away from all enemies. Which I think maybe we can one shot him, but probably not. Maybe we'll get a crit. Show him what we got, Turts. Turts doing some big damage. Nah, we need a crit to really do that. He's going to go for a defense curl. And we might not be able to kill him again. With that defense curl? I don't like that one bit. But I'm not going to run now because we already did half its health. Let's send it. Leaf is going to fly through here. It is physical, I think it said. Yeah, see? Defense curl eats it up. Son of a biscuit. Yo, nothing was worse than playing Gen 1 games, Fire Red, Leaf Green, or Yellow, whichever one you played, and going into the, uh, the, what, what was that forest called? The Viridian Forest? Was that what it's called? I think it was. The Viridian Forest? Or I don't even know. The first forest in the game. And going after a Kakuna and that thing just hardening like bro dude and you cannot kill it because you're rocking with the physical attack. it's just rough but walk up here we got ourselves another trainer everything's feeling so smooth buttery just nice here in this game i really do like the remake and how they did everything graphics are nice still got that nostalgia feel not like that 3d feel so i really do like the uh the graphics that they did in this because when they remade uh pokemon ruby and sapphire it felt like a whole different game because they totally kind of like changed it up but in this case right here it just feels the same. It feels awesome. The nostalgia feel is right back. It feels like I'm playing this game in 2005 again. Or 2006. Whenever it came out. But yeah, it's definitely feeling good. Thought he was going to fly out here for a second Pokemon. And it's weird. Like, Barry has like a level 9 Chimchar. And this dude's rocking over here with a level 4 Starly. Like, what are these levels difference? I probably should have just tackled. But Leaf would just be fine. He's going to growl on me. Draw my attack. Son of a biscuit. Which I still think tackle should be able to KO. It's not stab. Tackle is not stab, but it is normally effective, unlike the other one. Unlike the other And there we go. Perfect headbutts. Get him out of here. Starly, get out my game. We're done dealing with you guys. 18 XP. Nothing really too special. This thing's got a Badoo. 
So he's got a Badoo, and I was gonna rock out with Badoo on my Empoleon team. I think I might be on stream. Badoo is sick, or Rosarine. I think Rosarine is really cool, but it is pretty generic. But it is one of the cooler grass types. They do have that. They have Carvine. I think Carvine's pretty cool. They do have Victory Belt in this game. I don't know if he was in Diamond and Pearl, but I know in this game you can get him in the dens. I think the underground is a, just such a great concept. Like, it just adds so many Pokemon, especially post game. You just get a ton in. There's a heavy hit by us. He's going to absorb a grass type. If you absorb a grass type, I feel like you should not get HP back. I don't think that should be a thing. Should not be able to do that. Well, let's get rolling here. Let's use our last tackle here. Finish off this Badoo. Say, wrap it up. I think that's our last Pokemon. I think it is level four. I love me some Badoo. Badoo is a cool Pokemon. Badoo is definitely very cool. There we go. Defeat Caitlyn over here. Pretty little Caitlyn. Get her out of my face. She ain't no Pokemon trainer. I like how, like, what you. Like, you're just like a kid, and you beat these uh, other trainers, these other kids, and you're just like, all right, give me your money. Pay up. Pay me your money. But we'll walk into this grass. We'll get a new encounter, and it is a Bidoof. A Bidoof. We're not fighting him. Not dealing with him. We're running from him. We're going through these trainers. I'll definitely fight the trainers. Because the XP is just lovely. It's just lovely. I will catch any new encounters, though. But let's see. Uh, I'm going to say Youngster Billy. We're going to go for Billy. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hopefully he has like a rock type or something. But usually there's like Badoos and stuff. Sebastian. I would never guess that. Sebastian. He throws throw out him a chop. Chop is cool. He is very cool. But you guys know there are some other absolute banger fighter types for your team. Gen 4. If you're going with uh, Machamp. Actually, I can't be mad at Machamp. Machamp's so sick. He's always a cool Pokemon. Always such a cool Pokemon. But uh, there are very cool fighting types in this one. You got Gallade, which is a great Sinnoh evolution. You obviously got Lucario, who's an absolute beast. I think those two are like the most prominent ones. You can really go with either or. They're both super, super cool. I do like Gallade. I think Gallade's sick, considering he's got the Psychic type. And Psychic Pokemon are pretty hard to come by. They are pretty hard to come by. That's why I was going to use Alkazam for this team. But I was just like, bruh. I don't feel like trading in a playthrough. Then I got to do it off screen. You guys don't get to see it. All that good stuff. But let's just keep rocking out here. Check the grass. And we got to go through a cave. We got to go through a cave to get the Ubre City. Is that what is that what it was? Ubre? Something like that. Something like that. I know it's a rock. I know it's a rock place. She going to send out Starly. We're going to get ripping. we going to get ripping. But dude, I cannot get over how good this layout actually turned out. Like I was working on it for like all week leading up to this. I was like, how can I make this thing pop? Ended up getting the Diamond and Pearl background, and it was like something simplistic. You can see Palkia and Dialga kind of like silhouettes in the background. And I was just like, yo, let me add animated sprites, because, you know, they make it pop. They definitely make it pop. And then I was like, and let me add a little snowflake. So, dude, they, just some little things make it pop. It definitely makes my editing a lot longer, because I had to render these videos, and they take a lot longer. But I think it's definitely worth it in the long haul to bring you guys this awesome content. So, if you guys do enjoy it. Make sure you guys support me. It really does go a long way. And that goes for any YouTuber you watch. Don't watch a YouTuber. Don't be watching a YouTuber on daily and not be subscribed to their channel. Like, it really does benefit them. It really does. But we bring out Spadoof to red. He's going to bow on me. Mean. What you mean? But I was trying all day to actually get this game early. I want to get this game early. And I know you can make, like, an Australian account because they're, like, a day ahead. Or a day ahead. So if you guys saw like Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pearl content out before like November 19th, I wonder why those people were actually using like an Australian account. So I was trying that. It's actually very easy to do. But I wanted to buy it. I didn't know if I if I bought it on an Australian eShop, could I play it on my American account with online? Or did I have to buy like online? You guys get what I'm saying. But ooh, an Abra. We're gonna try to catch this thing before it teleports. We're going to try to catch this thing before teleport. So I ended up buying it on my American account and trying to get on on an Australian account, but it didn't let me. It didn't let me. So I was just like, you know what? I guess we're grinding tonight. I guess we're staying up till 4 in the morning editing and doing that and then waking up at like 7.30 to actually stream. So if you guys are watching this, I'm probably streaming right now. I'll definitely go check out my streams. Link down in the description below. Jeans25 and the name is legit on this layout. We did catch Abra, which is dandy. Add him to my Pokedex. Awesome. But yeah. Most of the time, I am going to be streaming this game. So if you guys ever want to catch streams, say hi to me. Like I said, just hit that hit that description button. Hit that link or just search Streams25 over there. I'd love to see you guys pop out, say hi, all that cool stuff. Love it. Love to see it. But oh, I don't want to fight this Bidoof. I'm just going to run it. But actually, the stairs did leave. We did not need Surf to get this. It's probably going to be some wacko. 
don't even really care for. Let's see. A repel. Yeah, I, I don't want to repel. Like, I just feel like that defeats the purpose. Maybe that's more so like a late game item or if you got to get out of like trouble. Uh, then we find a little couple other Pokemon here. Yeah, let's see what we got popping here. We got Shanks. I feel like there's nothing really new here. Maybe a Badoo on this route, which could be cool. Badoo could be cool. I'm just going to run from the Shanks. They're only level four. And we're going to do like one or two more encounters here. Let's see if we can catch anything new. I'm thinking maybe Badoo's the only one in this route. I mean, look at this. How much we're running around. There we go. Find something. Show me Badoo. Starly, get out my face. Get out my face. Yo, I would love just in one episode of this playthrough for us to find a random shiny. I think that could be awesome. But no, the chances of that is crazy. I don't think I think I found maybe two random encounter shinies in uh just by playing through a normal playthrough of a game. Only two. And actually I got one when I was a kid and I had no idea. I remember it like it was yesterday. Because I was in a Diglett cave and I was just like messing around there, leveling up my Pokemon. This was in uh Leaf Green. I'm in the Diglett Cave. Oh, another Encrowner? Dude, that was quick. Show me Badoo, though. Nope, another Abra. But I was in the Diglett Cave, and I ended up getting a Diglett with a black nose. Usually, they have pink noses. And I was wondering. I was just like, dude, this thing's stupid. The game's broken. I seriously thought there was, like, a glitch in the game. And I ended up killing it. And not till, like, I'm telling you, not till, like, yo, another step, we get an encounter. But not until, like, 10 years later, I realized it was shiny. And, like, it was just crazy how it clicked. Once I realized shinies were a thing, I was like, dude. I found a shiny Diglett when I was like six and I didn't even notice, but yo, that's just hilarious how my mind just clicked to that. I just thought it was super funny, but I'm going to head to this next route. We are going to head into the cave. The Orberg, that's what it is. Orberg Cave. Let's see what this guy says. Oh, looky there. You got a poke catch. Hmm. You're still pretty new trainer, aren't you? Yeah, that's me, but it's all good. You're a new fel fellow friend of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. So let me make a gift to the technical machines. Ooh, we get our first TM. What we get? Show me something good. Which one is it? Can you tell me which one it is? Come on. Come on. Which one is it? Oh, and I get the hidden moves app. That is the brand new thing. So we do not need HMs anymore. We just get them instantly. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hidden moves. Use hidden moves from the hidden moves for the Pokecatcher app. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Can I actually pull that out? I'm tired of looking at this time. I know it's late. I know it's late. Or it's early, actually. We have our hidden moves out here. There's our team. We have Rock Smash. That's wonderful. All right. So now we can hit there. And what TM did we get? What TM did Jeans get? Let's see. And we got TM8. Is that Rock Smash? It is Rock Smash. So it's actually just a move in this, but we can break rocks now, which is awesome. So I can actually head up here. We use our hit and move. Or do I have to go here? Do I have to hit this? How do we... I'm confused. Or no, we cannot use Rock Smash until I think we beat the first gym. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. Let's just keep heading over here and defeat the trainers and make our way to that first gym. Like I said, your boy wants to do that in today's video. Your boy wants to defeat that first gym. We gotta do it. So we got Camper Curtis over here. Send out a Shinx. Come on, you couldn't send out a rock Pokemon? Like, we're in the rock. We're in the cave. This dude's doing me dirty, but we got a Turtwig. Should be able to slap it up. I'm gonna guess level seven, maybe. Oh, dude, intimidate. Come on. I thought I was over that doing playthroughs. I thought that's only for VGC stuff. This dude's really intimidating me. Every time someone uses Intimidate, I just think of Incineroar, you know? Just think of Incineroar. And that thing's a pain in the neck to deal with. But we're gonna end up using our tackles. We're actually low on the the PPs of tackle. Maybe we gotta start using Leafage more, but for a Pokemon like Shanks, we definitely wanna tackle up on it. But I think 10 more tackles should definitely bring us to the town where we can heal up and do all that good stuff. But later, Shanks, give me XP. And yo, Camper Curtis, pay up. Pay up, buddy, give me your money. Ever's gonna level up, beautiful. Beautiful, even though I just want to put them away. I just want to put them in my computer. Like how you just catch Pokemon, you just stuff them inside of a PC. <laughs> like you just open up your PC, you're like, get in there. Get in there. But well, we're going to battle Camper Caitlyn over here. Let's see. Picnic or Diana? <laughs> Sends out Badoo. My main man, Badoo. Dude, I always thought Badoo was cool. Like, it was funny because uh, isn't Roselia just like, yeah. In uh, Gen 3, they they uh, showed off or they came out with Rosalia, and that Pokemon was just lame. It was just like, okay, it's just one stage Rosalia. Nobody wants it all on the scene. Then it was just like, okay, but now we got Badoo and Rosary. Now everyone's like, okay, I dig it. I dig it. Change a one evolution Pokemon to a three evolution Pokemon, and now it's a top tier cool looking Pokemon. I like it all around. Tackles can come out here. 
Get out my face, Badoo. She got another Pokemon. Show me a rock Pokemon. Show me something we haven't battled yet. So you give me my XP 27. And she's gonna send out Psyduck. Ooh, I'll put Psyduck. He needs my leafage. I bet you I, I should be able to one tap it, right? Should be able to one tap it. We are seven levels ahead of it. It's stab. It's super effective. Let's get after it. Leafage. Doing them dirty. Yes, sir. That feels good. That feels good. Considering early game, you don't do that much. So when it happens, you love to see it. Good old Psyduck, man. I do like Golduck, too. He's a cool little water type to get on your team. But in Gen 1, I never use him because Starmie was always my go-to. Starmie's just awesome all around. But there we go. Make our way out of the cave. Is that the end? We make our way to Orberg City. Awesome. Howdy, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? Yo, did they add that line? So I'll show you where the town's Poke Gym is. Yo, did they add that line? Because I feel like noob was not really a saying back then. I feel like it was not. But hmm, there's someone there. Hey, Barry. That guy up on the gym, is that your friend? Yeah, that's just Barry over here. I whooped him over in the beginning of the route. No big deal. Oh, it's you, Jeans. You finally got here? You're slow like always. Yo, take it back, man. Take it back. I ain't slow. Let's see. So the gym leader isn't here. If you want to challenge the gym, you better go down to the mine and ask him. Okay, sound good. We'll head down to the mine. We'll go ask him. Let me actually find the, uh, the Pokey Center here. There it is, beautiful. And I gotta heal up my Turtwig. And more importantly, let's put this Abracadabra out of here. Let's put Abracadabra out of here. We don't want him on our squad. We can do this with Turtwig and only Turtwig. But I think after this route, we will actually grab our first Pokemon for our team. I know it is a little later, but we don't want Shinx. We don't want Starly on the team. I just don't I just don't want those super generic guys right there. Even though, like I said, we have like one or two that is going to be on our squad. But other than that, we got a pretty cool team lined up for you guys. So I cannot wait to showcase it for you guys and have a full squad at the end of this game. But Abra goes into the box. Yo, did you just, you just saw that? This dude just shoved me. He just shoved me. I was moving by and he, he walked in and shoved me. But we got to go find the mine. And is it down here? I had to guess it's over here, right? Where's the mine at? Where you at? There's a Machamp over here. Hello, Machamp. What you got to say? Look at the Machamp just going to work in the mine. Oh, we just talked to this guy. He gives us a super potion. But eventually, I'm going to grind out and find like all TMs. And usually, you're probably going to have to talk to everybody. But during my playthrough, I kind of just like to run around and do it all on my own. But I think the mine should be down here, right? If I do remember. I do remember, which I believe I do. Yep, Orberg mine. And we're going to walk down here and go find the gym leader. He should just be straight down. I think he just runs straight through the mine. And you go find the guy. You can just walk through it. And I think you can find Pokemon here as well. Let's see what this guy has to say. I met these Machamps on Route 207. They now become my most trusted partner. Okay, so they work for him. So Machamp, Machops are slaves. They are slaves, as you guys can tell. They are working in the mine for Pokemon trainers. But, oh, okay, we can find Pokemon here. What's it going to be? A Geodude. A lovely little Geodude. I would love to catch. I would love to catch you, G. Dude. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Ooh, level. Hopefully, it's leafage doesn't kill me in one shot. Let's see. It does. Okay. <laughs> okay, yo, dude, this gym's gonna rock. We gonna we gonna kill this gym. We gonna kill this gym. G. Dude's easy to get. Oh, dude, 68 XP. This thing flies up. This thing flies up. What we got over here? Here's the gym leader. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, he's gonna use Rock Smash. Okay, stand back and watch this. Use the hit and move rock smash. Get rid of the boulder block in your way. We already know about that. But I can't use it till I beat you. So get back to the gym so we can whoop on you. So there he goes. He's going to move back here. We're going to walk around. Grab this Pokeball. What we got here? An escape rope. We ain't wasting our escape rope here. I'd rather walk around here. And we cannot go this way. We cannot go this way. So we got to make our way back to the beginning. Another Geodude is here. Should I try catching it? I could try catching it. I could indeed try catching it with just Pokeball, and that is exactly what I'm doing. I think I might be low on Pokeball, so I should definitely buy some either at the end of this video or in the beginning of part three. But come on, catch this thing. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Best part about Route 1 is like, or like early game, you don't really have to hit up the Pokemon to catch them. And that's the best thing about Quick Balls. If you're trying to get a uh, Pokedex done, definitely rock a Quick Ball. But look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Learn and raise your leaf right before we burst the Rock Gem. Loving it. And we are going to get rid of, uh, we get rid of leafage. Yeah, I think there's no point in having leafage here. Yeah, let's get rid of leafage. We do not need this anymore. Get it out of here. Because I'd rather have withdrawal for that defense boost in case we want to use it. And growth for when we get some special attack moves. Even though, uh, Turtwig is physical attacking, right? Or Torterra is as well, right? Because growth just boosts a special, special attack. So, 
Maybe we won't even use that. Maybe I should have got rid of that one. But let's rock out here. Let's get out of here. Let's go defeat our first gen. Gotta love it. But I would think only uh, Geodudes and Zubats are probably the only Pokemon in here. If I had to guess, right? If I had to guess. Typical first starter cave. Yeah, Zubat. Zubats and Geodudes all day. Maybe some hidden rare Pokemon. But we're not really going to waste our time grinding that out. That's more of a post-game thing. We really want to find this hidden Pokemon. And let's actually try catching a Zubat. Huck my Pokeball. Hey. Get it over there. Give me three shakes. Two. Me. I'm going to give it another try. It's going to astonish me. <laughs> that move looks so sick. He like turns around. Like, hey. <laughs> it's like, hey. Knock it off. Gives you a little. Gives you a little. Hey. Here comes another Pokeball. One shake. Show me two. Give me three. Show it to me. Click it. Let's go. Let's go. See, in order to catch Pokemon, you really have to just like talk to the Pokemon. Yeah, yo, click, come on, one, two, three. I feel like that, I feel like that's the best thing. I always remember it as a kid, I used to think like the harder you hold down the A button, the higher chance you would have of catching Pokemon when that's totally nonsense. Or like if you tap the A button, you have a higher chance of catching the Pokemon. I used to always do that as a kid. I used to like mash it. I used to hold it down as hard as I can. And it would just take so long. Wait, was that a Pokeball? Or did my eyes deceive me? Hold up. No, it's a bear. Oh, no, it is a Pokeball. See, I'm telling you, my eyes don't deceive me. Can't believe I missed that on the way in. But we're going to encounter yet another Zubat. That's so fun. Turtwig's going to fly out here. And we're going to run. We are going to run. I was thinking we would have a Grotto by the end of this video. But since he, since he evolves level 18 now, I don't think we are going to be able to have him. It's a little rough. I did want a Grotto, but level 18 is high after a first gym. It is very high, but let's head back into town. Gym leader is ready to roll with us. In the meantime, we are actually just going to heal up our Pokemon and then just get rocking out on the rock gym. Love it. Love it. Love it. But yeah, I definitely cannot wait to get more Pokemon on the squad. I'm getting tired of just using Turtwig. And I know you guys definitely want to see some more Pokemon, but I promise you guys, next episode, next episode for a fact, we will have more Pokemon on the team. One to two. I promise. I promise. But I believe in the next route or route, whatever you want to call it, we will end up getting uh, a Pokemon, I know for a fact. And I know for a fact that we can get a Pokemon before the second gym, and that is where we are going to go to in the next episode. And we can get him. We unlock the underground there. And the underground is filled with Pokemon. I'm super excited for the underground. Definitely to check it out. I only seen videos of it. That's about it. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it yet because this is my first time playing right now. But let's roll over to the gym. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And let's get after it. Let's do our first gym. First gym, I think there's two trainers in the in the uh I was gonna say boss fight. In <laughs> the boss fight. <laughs> what am I playing? Legend of Zelda? But no, there's two trainers and then the gym leader. But it feels good to actually be back in gyms because I wasn't a big fan of uh the sun and moon, the trials. I didn't really like the trials. And what was it in the uh they were gyms in Sword and Shield, but I don't know, they were a little different. Right? Were they a little different? They were more like challenges, I guess. But no, they were pretty cool. Looking back on it, they were pretty cool. But we should just be able to... Oh, I'll use growth. Come on, man. <laughs> I hit growth on accident. We getting big, though. We getting bulky, baby. We getting bulky. We're going to attack or raise our attack stat and special attack, which is awesome. Okay, so it does raise your attack stat. I thought I read it and it said only uh, special attack. But we're going to use raise relief. This should one hit KO, especially after growth. Get him out of here. The XP is going to be flying, flying through. And if I do remember, if I have a good memory... The highest level Pokemon should be, what is it, a Cranny Dose? Level 14, maybe? I think so. I think it's a solid gym battle. I think they did good on the levels here. Let's rip up here. We might have to use a potion just to make sure we're at full health. But I think she has two to three Pokemon. But I believe, like I said, her highest Pokemon is level 14. This guy is two, so we'll definitely be level 14 by the end of this battle. We're going to send out Geodude. What's goody, man? Geodude stand no chance. I think we're just going to be able to one-tap him. Level 8. Wasn't the last one level 10? Yeah, this thing's not going to be able to eat this up. Get him out of here. Big old Rage Leaf. It was so perfect how we learned that. How we learned that right before we uh, fought the gym. Right before we fought the gym. It's awesome. Now, imagine if you go... Uh, oh, an Onyx. Ooh, a little bit of Onyx action. Now, imagine if we would have went... Uh, what's it called? We would have went Chimchar and Starling. Like, generic. I feel like we would have got ripped here. Would've got ripped. We would've had to level up to like get a Monferno and then get Rock Punch to actually like do something, right? I feel like that's the only way. But we want that thing. We get a crit. That's lovely. That's beautiful. And we gain some XP. 80. We did not level up. That's whack. 
but we'll level up during the gym fight. I think we should be fine just running through this guy. I definitely do want to use a potion just beforehand because, you know, you never know. You never know, so always come prepared. Always be prepared. Head over to our potions. We do have a super potion ready to rock, but don't need it. Don't want it. Don't need it. Let's head over here. Let's defeat our first gym. Welcome. This is the Orberg gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. What's up, Rourke? Let's fight, dude. I just want your gym badge. But, yo, one of my favorite things when uh getting the gym badges. Oh, yeah. You guys are about to see something cool, though. Below my face cam, when we defeat a gym badge, it's going to go in our gym badge category. Put that in the layout as well. I think that's a really cool touch. But back to what I was saying, when you get gym badges in this game, you can actually clean them. And as a kid, I thought that was cool. Like, they would get dirty, so you would have to take your DS pen and like, clean them off and everything. Then they would shine. It would be a beautiful shine with it. But this year, dude's level 12. Uh, can we still one-tap it? I hope so. We do. Get him out of here, bro. Get him out of here, yo. Turtwig's ripping. Turtwig is ripping. Loving it. Give me that level 14. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And probably get level 15 by the end of this one. With this Onyx. And like I said, I think it's a level 14 Cranny disc. Such a cool Pokemon. Cool Pokemon. Was going to use that on my team, but nah. We're not. I don't even think I said what version of the game I'm playing. I'm playing Diamond if any of you guys want to Oh, we almost take out the Onyx in one shot. We're going to be able to go for another Rage Leaf here. And dude, this gym is just going to be a cakewalk for us. Oh, he potions, man. Dude's potioning. Totally did not miss that, but he's going to die anyway. He's going to die anyway. But nothing's worse than like when you're bursting Elite Four and you finally get the Pokemon down to like red health. And it's like, nah, full restore. You're like, bro, what you mean? Just full restore. They'll use like four of them just to make the battle longer. But there's 160 XP. And he's going to send out his final Pokemon. Was I correct? Let's see who it is. It is the Cranny Dose, and I believe it's level 14. Yeah, dude, my memory's good. Because I remember I was watching like a, a leak video, and it was saying how the levels did not change for the uh, trainers and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool how I was going to be able to remember that. Cranny Dose is out here. We all send him, hit him with a, up with a razor leaf. Almost one tap it. He's going to send a potion. We obviously know that. We obviously know he's going to send a potion. And I think if he sends a potion, a razor leaf is just going to kill it. Yep, there's a potion. And Turtwig should be able to finish this thing off, no problem. Just like the Onyx, right? Yeah, he's not in full health anymore. Get him out of here, yo. Get him out of here. Give me my first gym badge. Let me rock out with that. Give me my first gym badge. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. There it is. Give me that XP. Level 15. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Yes, sir. You defeated Gym Leader Rourke. He's like, whoa, i never been beaten before. Dude, you're the first Gym Leader. Everybody smacks up on you. But yo, he gives some cash. Almost 2K? This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. Well, you're the first gym leader. What do, what do you expect? Everybody who fights you does not have a gym badge. <laughs> like, but there it is, our first gym badge. And yeah, that's looking spiffy. That is looking spiffy. And hey, look right below my face cam. We got it on the layout too. Loving it. Loving it so much. You received a cold badge. We can now use Rock Smash, which is awesome. And it gives us TM76. And which one is that? Is he going to tell me? The Rock Slide or Rock Tomb? It's usually Rock. Delta, okay. It's all right. That's an I right move. Probably won't use it. And we get stickers. There are stickers on the Pokeballs now, which is pretty cool. Which I definitely have to do and find out where we do that at. But there we go. First gym is done. We got it all done with. And I'm actually going to go... I don't even think I'm going to heal my Pokemon. I don't even think I'm going to heal my Pokemon. I do want to actually check out the town map before we do finish off today's video. And see where we have to head to next. So we are here. And what's it say to do? Let me see. It doesn't even say, oh, head out to your next adventure. So we're going to head probably up here to Eternity, and that is exactly where we're going to head to. That is up on the up route, but I believe if you head up here, you can actually find a little, yeah, little path right here, which is just grass. It's just grass, so maybe we can find some new encounters before we do finish off today's video. There's a few Geodudes. Might level up a little bit. Might do some work, but next episode, we're going to be heading to Eternity towards the second gym. Probably not doing the second gym. I think we should just uh, get to the second gym in the next video and then try to test out the underground. I think that could be cool. This thing has sturdy, so it's basically free focus action. What you mean? He's going to end up tackling me, and I probably shouldn't even kill this thing. He's on one HP, so I'm just going to tackle him. Bruh, hit up too many times and use growth. Hate this game. Hate it so much. <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. We get all that. He's going to tackle me again and do a little bit of damage. But I'm wondering, uh, if there's any new Pokemon before, like I said, before we finish off the video. I definitely want to see if there's any new Pokemon. We're going to end up tackling, finishing that thing off. Get out of my face. Get him out of here. You do faints. 
dies out into the darkness. And we gain some nice level 22 XP. We love saving. But there is a Pokeball over here, and I wonder what we got. Counter before the Pokeball. Show me something new. A chop. I'm with it all day. He's coming with me. You're coming with me, buddy. You are coming with me. So that is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, I think we'll just tackle it, because I think a Maze Leaf might kill it. Tackle should bring it down past half health, right? Yes, sir. Ooh, just half health. He's going to leer me, and now Pokeball should easily get that. But got to make sure. I'll probably do this off screen. Actually, I probably won't. I'll probably do it on the next recording. I gotta buy more Pokeballs. You know, we about to hit the harder routes. More Pokemon are gonna be spawning there. We're not gonna see like Starlies really anymore. Badoof, Shanks, they're all early route Pokemons. But now we're done the first gym. We're gonna be rocking out with some cool new Pokemon. But Chop was caught, baby. Add him to my Pokedex. Come on. Come on, level 15. And the best part about next episode is we will 100% have a Grotto. That is awesome. We will 100% uh, get our evolution and get Grotto rolling. There's our lovely little Pokeball. We found another Pokeball in a Pokeball. Got my face. And we're going to do one more encounter here. One more encounter. Show me something cool. Probably none. Cricket that. Out my face. Imagine if it, if it was shiny, I would have had to use it for this playthrough. When I was just dissing on it in part one. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. But we're just going to run from this one. And start heading towards that first route before we do finish off. Let's head over here. Actually, what does this guy have to say? You got some for me, man? That's slow. Too slippery. You'll need a bike to get up it. Yeah, I know. We have to go to the cycle shop to get a bike. We know. We know about the bikes. We know about the bikes. But where is the entrance to the next section? This way? I feel like it has to be this way. Of course we went the, this way. Um, Where do we take a bike? I feel like the bike is the way to go, right? Yeah, because this is just the, the ore or the mine. This way is nothing. So I guess we need to get a bike. Maybe I should just go get a bike real quick. Where's the bicycle shop at? Mr. Bicycle Shop, where are you? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that's where we came in at. And what's down here? Nothing. So it's just a gym. So we got to find the bicycle shop. I think this might be it. Is this the bicycle shop? Why do I feel like this is the bicycle shop? Just not. But you got something for me, man? Um, blah, blah, blah. He's just talking about the gym leader. Cool, cool, cool. And the bicycle shop at. Is this at the bicycle shop? What is this place? What is this place right here? Definitely gotta explore this. And let's talk to you. What do you got to say? Hello, welcome to the Orberg Mining Museum. Okay, so I'm guessing this is for what's it called? I'm guessing this is for fossils and whatnot. Find a fossil, or anything down here? Nope. It's just a museum. So nothing too special here. Maybe there's a TM in there. Maybe there's something if you talk to somebody, but we're not worried about that right now. We're looking for a bike. We went in that building already. Uh let's head in this one. There's a person standing out front. So that, that, that usually signifies something important. Let's talk to you. Listen, do you have a Pokemon called Machop? I do. Willing to trade Machop for an Abra? Uh, no. Because I already have both. I already have both. So cool little trades there. You probably get some cool Pokemon there. It's over here. Let's check this building. Bump, thump, thump, thump. What we got going on here? Let's see. There's eight gym leaders in Sinnoh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, collect all the badges. We already know that. We already know that. What we got up here? Psyduck. None too special over here. What do you got to say for yourself? Or you catch a Pokemon here. Take this if you like it. You obtain a Dust Ball. Okay. I'll take a Dust Ball. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's keep rolling. Uh, I think we... Was that all the buildings? I swear. Yo, where's my bicycle at? We got these buildings over here. Let's check this one. Let's check this. He said something about a cycle shop. And what do you got to say here? Blah, blah, blah. Pokemon Natures. All different colors. Uh, don't really care for you too much. There's a cool little Pikachu chilling there. But... We are not here for Pikachu. We gotta have our our eyes on the prize here. That is bicycles. That's bicycles. You know, let me let me go let me go talk to this guy again. Does he say something about bicycle shop? 207. Am I just going the wrong way? I need a bike to get up there. You don't have a bike. There's a cycle shop in Eterna City. Obviously. What am I doing? We cannot get up there, but how do we get out of here though? Where's the exit out of this? Oh, we use Rock Smash, obviously. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. We obviously go up here and then we use Rock Smash to make our way to a turn of the city. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be heading to the second gym in Eternal City and catching some new Pokemon for our team. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.